apparently uh, prop. It's double act. It's a double act, and uh, don't adjust your monitors. This is a charity plea. <laughs> but hey, listen, man, it's for a good cause. So dig deep. I know you got some kind of random foreign thing in your pocket where you're just like, what am I supposed to do with this? It's for this little dude, all right? So let's hear him out. No. Yeah, he's the big dude, all right? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much. Right. Well, just before we start, Lara was talking about that it's a, it's a talent show. There's not going to be any talent tonight, for me anyway. Uh, she said there's going to be some art. There's not going to be any art either. I'm really sorry to hear that, to tell you that. But what I do want to say very, very quickly is that, yes, it is a talent show, and um, that's what we're looking for. But also, it is about supporting the FAPF, which this little girl has come from that. When I got to her about six months ago, she was an absolute mess. Uh, she came from Roosbeck, actually, but she was a, she was a complete mess. She would, couldn't get her out of the door. She was pissing and shitting in the house. You couldn't get her out anywhere. But now she's great. Here she is in the big lights, big stage, and she's done fantastically well. Right? Because it is a talent show, I thought we would do a bit like Pudsey, you know, on the British Got Talent, but unfortunately we couldn't have the ring of fire. So, she's not going to actually perform tonight, but what I do want to pass around is a tin, which if you could just put any coins, anything you wish, please put it in there. It's coming around now, so please, please, please do put in. Anyway, this has been a complete spare of the moment thing. I wasn't planning to come up here, and the good thing is I can't see any of your faces, so if you're not laughing, I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> So it's really cool up here. I understand why you do it, Lara, now. It's quite cool. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a teacher, and this is going to be a bit like one of my lessons, I think. You know, unprepared and unplanned, and I've got no idea where it's going to go. So let's just see. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> I try not to go to sleep. I've got nearly sat falling asleep in one of my lessons. So hopefully that's not going to happen here, and hopefully none of you will fall asleep. But my boss is actually... He's, uh, he's a really great guy. He's about to retire, but he's decided to do one more year in Abu Dhabi. And um, when he was there, he was telling me that he was in, in Dubai, and uh, he told me that uh, they've actually banned the new Flintstones movie. I was going, why the hell have they banned the new Flintstones movie? He's, he's telling me, well, they're all very politically correct there. You know, it's come from Europe and America, and they're now really politically correct there. And uh, I said to him, what have they done? He said, well, they banned the new Flintstones movie. And he said, well, why? I said, why was that? And uh, he said to me, he goes, well, apparently the people in Dubai don't get the sense of humour, but the people in Abu Dhabi do. So I said, oh, come on, give me a bit more than that. It's not that bad. <laughs> anyway, I was on a plane with my girlfriend, Lutzer. Uh, we went to see him in, in Abu Dhabi. And um, as we're getting on the plane, actually, before, just, before we go on to that story, I should just tell you something that I, I've had a few girlfriends in my time, you know. I know, I know you're wondering, of course you believe, yeah, of course, I understand why. But I had a girlfriend called Wendy once. And, you know, you, I was a young teenager, and I decided to tattoo uh, Wendy on my, my, on my cock. Anyway, when it's small, it just says W-Y. But, Anyway, I was in the toilets of the gents in a pub one night, and um, I was having, having a piss, and uh, suddenly this big guy walked next door to me, and I thought, well, I've just got to have a look. I know I'm pretty well hung, but I thought I'd better have a look at this, this uh, Jamaican guy. And anyway, on, on the end of his cock, he had W.Y. tattooed on his cock as well. I thought, ah, oh, we both have the same girlfriend. We both got a girlfriend called Wendy. And he said, no, 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 man, that doesn't say Wendy. It says, welcome to Jamaica, have a nice day. <laughs> I thought, I suddenly felt very small again. <laughs> anyway, uh, move, moving on. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go next. <laughs> anyway, we, we, I was going back to flying on, to, on uh, back to Abu Dhabi we to see my boss in Abu Dhabi. And we were going there, and uh, we got on the plane, and my girlfriend's a bit jealous, you know, she thinks you know, I've played around with it, which I haven't, of course. But um, we were on the plane, and uh, she said, that guy was fucking rude to me. I said, what do you mean? He goes, he just told me I've got really nice hair. I said, well, that's not rude, is it? He goes, no, but he's a fucking dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robert, I can hear you there. I can't see you, but I can hear you. And uh, anyway, we carried, we carried on 
on the, on the plane, and I thought, well, I'll give it, the, give it the benefit of the doubt, and I need a drink, it's so dry out here. <laughs> a bit like my girlfriend. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we, we, we were walking on, and uh, anyway, this little dwarf, I don't know what you call them, midgets or dwarfs or whatever they are, and uh, shut it, fuck off, that's my <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we were walking there and he was trying to get his luggage into the top compartment. Obviously he's got no chance of getting anywhere near it. And uh, see, I'm watching you. I'm trying to train you. Anyway, so uh, he was trying to reach his luggage up there. And uh, I thought, well, what can I do, you know? You know he, apparently he's been reached my girlfriend, but I'm not 100% sure. So I just picked him up, literally. So he could put his luggage into the, the, the compartment. Anyway, I picked him up like this. He goes, I'm not happy. I said, oh, which one are you then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> um, where should I go from here? Any more? Um... Tom Cruise. Ah, Tom Cruise. Does anybody like films? <laughs> yes? Oh, what I don't know what you think about Tom Cruise as an actor. Anybody like him or not like him? I know he's short and got divorced recently, but does anybody actually like him? No? Okay, well, I'll fuck that one off. <laughs> no, I'm still going to tell you it. Anyway, it's, it's a great joke about Tom Cruise. And um, he, 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 no, you, I, met, I'm, not, I didn't meet him, but somebody met him in a bar relatively recently, and he, he was talking about his new film. And, uh, but, you know, there's no real plot to any Tom Cruise films. You know, they're all pretty, pretty box standard. Anyway, you know, you, you've, you've seen Cocktail, you know. Cocktail, you know, he was a pretty good cocktail maker, you know. He suffered a crisis of confidence, he couldn't make cocktails anymore, then he met a beautiful woman who told him how to make cocktails again, and then he became a great cocktail maker again. Next film, he was a jet fighter pilot, a pretty good jet pilot fighter. And he suffered a crisis of confidence, couldn't uh, make co maker, uh, couldn't fly jet fighters, ah, it's, it's all going wrong. He couldn't fly jet, fight, jet fighters anymore, and suffered a crisis of confidence, and, uh, and then he could fly them again. And then he became um, uh, the brother of a retarded guy. He's a pretty good brother of a retarded guy. Until he suffered a crisis of confidence, he couldn't be a jet. He couldn't be a ah. You know where I'm going with this, anyway. So, and, and, and then he found a beautiful girl who told him how to be a beautiful. How, how to um, help me out here? It's, it's really hard. Up. It's the first time I've ever done this. It's really a nightmare. <laughs> Thank you. But then he became. A, he, he knew how to be. Uh, how to look after his, uh, his his retired brother. Anyway, and next film he was a a, a world fighter. He, he probably a pretty good world fighter. And then he suffered a crisis of confidence. Couldn't couldn't fight the world anymore. And then he met a beautiful woman. He don't have to be able to And then blah, 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 blah. and then um, he he could have been a good scrabble player for all I know. But um, he, he he suffered. He, pulled all vowels one time and then he couldn't, uh, he suffered a crisis of consonants and couldn't, uh, oh. <laughs> then he met a beautiful Welsh girl who helped him out, so that was all good then. Anyway, um, have I got any more jokes? No, I don't think I have actually, so it's been, it's been fun. I can't see you, so I can't see what your faces are like. You look a bit glim, a bit grim probably, but anyway. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm not going to do this ever again, don't worry about it. You've been, gr you've been great, I've been shit, so thank you. <laughs>